All right, guys. So finally, we are getting our second part of the winter story here. Um, I have no idea. I have I didn't get spoiled at all. I, I mean, I did see clips, but this is going to be an unedited version of my reaction to the new winter story. Uh, we're waiting for the last one to, you know, be added after 18 minutes. So here we go. Let's start watching this together. With so much fun. The winds never cease to surprise me. Where will they take me next? Ah, we're almost there. I see the lights of Snowfall Village. Should I stop by and say hello to Cotton Cookie? I have thousands of stories to share. But I should probably head to the Frost Castle first. Frost Queen Cookie has never called for me this urgently. It must be something very important. I'll be right there, Cotton Cookie. Oh, come on. You got to go to content right away. Come on. That's what everybody's waiting for. That was the first thing that you have to do, right? Go to content. Man. Huh? Was the frost castle always this cold? How strange. It always felt warm for a frozen castle. Child, you have been traveling the world. Bringing snow with you wherever you go. Thank you for answering my call on such short notice. Frost Queen Cookie. The Frost Castle. It's... You have notice. It must be obvious for one who wields the power to control snow. Yes. The frozen force that holds the castle together feels faint. And all the frost spirits, they look dimmer than usual. <sighs> What's going on? My powers, as well as this castle's, come from the energy of life. There is something foul out there. Something twisted. Disrupting the entire course of nature. Its powers are now disturbing the balance of my domain. Disrupting the entire course of nature? Yes. I am sure you are well aware of the ones chosen to return to nature's embrace and bloom into something new. The balance of this sweet world is maintained by this cycle. As a new life enters the world, another will return to the source. Such is the way of the life energy. This flow has been tarnished. Instead of circulating freely as it should be, it is accumulating in a single focus point. But that's impossible. Are you saying that someone's collecting life energy? Uh-oh. Is that Dark Enchantress? I am unsure. Which is why it is imperative to find out where the life energy is gathering and how exactly this disturbance is affecting the world. Can you help me? Other elemental cookies might know something. Just like oh, something off. There it is. There is the giveaway. Finally, the mentioning of the elemental cookies. I'll pay them a visit right away. Excellent. They must have sensed this shift as well. Where should I start? Visit the guardian of dreams, the one who watches okay. the two worlds from her moon. Her knowledge is unparalleled. You know who the moon is, right? Dreams and moon. Right. Moon oh. cookie of the city of wizards. <laughs> they just show it right away. <laughs> Make haste. You are the only one I can ask for help at this bleak moment. Of course. Frost Queen Cookie, you can trust me. I'll ride the highest and fastest wind and we'll be back right away. Man. They teased that he was going to go meet Cotton, and then now he's on another adventure. Now we have to wait even further for uh, Cotton and Sherbet to actually be united. But, you know, there we go. Finally, the, the legendaries that we've all been waiting for, like, you know, Moonlight, uh, Fire Spirit, Wind Archer, Millennial Tree. It seems like they're finally going to make some sort of appearance here. So let's see how it goes. going on this must be it although i can't get closer to the city of wizards no matter how hard i try 
The very moment the city seems within my reach, it slips away. As if I haven't made a single step. This must be the fabled dream barrier. Did something happen to the city of wizards? Why else would Moonlight Cookie lock the entire city away in a dream? I'm not gonna lie. The more and more I listen to Sherbet's uh, voice right now, it sounds like Ginger Brave. I am not gonna lie. Moonlight Cookie! Moonlight Cookie! Can you hear me? Moonlight Cookie! There's no way she can hear me from here. But I don't have time. I'll visit the Dragon's Valley first, since it's the nearest from here. Fire Spirit Cookie might know something. Oh, there's the second one. Fire Spirit. Dude, aren't you gonna melt? <laughs> Wouldn't he melt? Oh, there you go. Gonna melt. If I get closer. Where on earth Fred is Fire Spirit Cookie? Who goes there? Who dares to enter the land of okay. and flames? All right, all right. Voice is pretty good. Fire Spirit Cookie. Oh, a tiny sugar plum. What are you doing here? You trying to become Water Drop Cookie or something? Water drop cookie. <laughs> oh, they don't show you the actual uh, image. I'm here on Frost Queen Cookie's request. Something is happening with the life energy and the world. He does have his a little, a little sass, you know. Fire spirit cookie. Since you oversee the flow of life, I thought you'd have felt something too. Flow of life, huh? I haven't heard about that one in a while. <laughs> Surprised anyone still cares about that stuff. Because I sure don't. <laughs> oh yeah, he definitely is one of those kind of cookies who doesn't care about anything. The frost castle is gradually crumbling apart. Have you seen anything similar to that here in the Dragon's Valley? Huh. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad for Frost Queen Cookie. Has she grown so weak that she needs to send a kid? In her stead. I'll have you know, my flames are perfectly fine, thank you very much. So you don't feel anything different? Well, yeah, because global warming, if global warming ever happens, of course fire is not going to feel anything. <laughs> Listen up, Shane. The weak always make a fuss about every itsy-bitsy change in the world. Cookies who wield the eternal flames like myself couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you become a spirit because you wanted to be free? If Frost Queen Cookie is in trouble, then let her deal with it. Now scram, I'm a busy cookie. Wait, Fire Spirit Cookie! He's gone. And I couldn't learn anything new. I want to follow him, but if I stay here any longer, I'm definitely gonna melt away. Oh yeah, you're definitely melting. Cooler. Dude, fire spirit? Classic fire related anything. You know, within like a story or any like lore type of thing. Always, it's always a fire type or fire related that's always the sassiest. Like, you know, they always think that they're the best, you know. But there we go. They have the ego. Let's, let's see what we, we have next. It's so silent here. And the moon is so bright. Oh, there's our sea fairy. The only elemental one out of the original legendaries that we have within the game right now. Sea fairy cookie? Where are you? Hello? Sea fairy cookie? You, the spirit cookie who travels with snow? Yes, that's me. I'm Sherbert Cookie. I hope I'm not bothering you. Wow, that's actually the first time I've actually heard her voice outside of the, uh, the skill. No, not at all. I was just waiting for nightfall. It is my favorite time of the day. What brings you here? It's actually really nice. Frost Queen Cookie asked me to visit you. 
Have you felt anything off regarding the flow of life energy recently? I do not know. I have abandoned my duties as a guardian long ago. Why? Why did you abandon it? Besides, the sea is vast and deep. There are areas that I cannot see. She's not a guardian anymore? But now that you mention it... <gasps> I have noticed currents of life energy shifted towards a place across the sea. Across the sea? Do you know the direction? Somewhere northeast of Earthbred. But I do not know the exact destination. What I do know is that it is beyond my reach. This means the Frost Queen cookie was right. Life energy is gathering somewhere. If I only knew where it was, I could hop on the winds and get there right away. I am sorry I was not of much help. It is very Perhaps calming. The divine tree can give an answer. Divine tree. The divine tree? Isn't that uh isn't that the uh the millennial tree? The tree has taken the form of a cookie now. You will find him in the maze grove. An elemental cookie in the maze grove? Are oh, you there talking you go. about millennial tree cookie? There it is. But he's really hard to meet. Not to mention that I always get lost whenever I visit the forest. He is the one who oversees all life on Earthbred. If someone can help you, it is him. Right. I hope I don't get lost this time. May the wind take you where you need to be. Okay, so far, so far, uh, we saw Fire Spirit. We didn't get to see Moonlight. That's the, that's the thing, right? We didn't get to see Moonlight. But here we go. Let's see what we get. Uh, I knew it. I'm going in circles again. I don't think I've ever been this lost. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still far from my goal. <laughs> Wait, what's this smell? Is something on fire? Fire! Kind jelly berry. <sighs> fire in the sacred maze grove. Shrida up donut ball fairy. <laughs> I can help if I can send my snow through the wind. Muffin fairy. Thank you so much. Cool jelly fairy. I'm How many different fairies are there? Thank goodness the fire didn't spread too much. Uh, I may or may not have sent a bit too much snow. Every tree is covered in frost. Huh? Halt. Oh. How dare you tarnish this forest with darkness? You know who that is. Okay, but yeah, the darkness is a little bit of an over uh, statement there. All right, over exaggeration. It's snow. What did you do? What did you do to stop the fire? Right? You can't. You can't go up to somebody who just helped keep the fo uh, forest from getting into flames and say tarnish it with darkness. Who are you? No, wait. Let me explain. Oh. Okay, a little, a little, little animation here going on. I see that. We see the arrow right there. I knew the trees were acting strange. Are you the culprit behind this? Do not think that I'll let you go easily. My arrow will deliver your judgment. No, it's not like that. I'm Sherbert Cookie. I came here to meet Millennial Tree Cookie. I suddenly found the forest on fire. I used my power to put out the fires. That's all. I didn't mean to freeze the forest. I'm really sorry about that. The trees of the maze grove on fire? Come on, you're like the guardian. How do you not know the it was on fire? What? The shade of green may have lost its brilliance recently, but still, there are the trees of life to catch fire. The frost spirit speaks the truth, protector. The fire started from the dry twigs and leaves. If it weren't for Sherbert Cookie, we would have turned to ashes. Unbelievable. I am sorry, 
for the misunderstanding, and you have my gratitude for saving the forest. Did you say that you are here to meet Millennial Tree Cookie? Yes. An unusual flow of life energy was spotted across the continent. I was wondering if Millennial Tree Cookie knew anything about this. Unusual flow of life. Perhaps that is why the poor is caught on fire. Follow me. I shall lead you to Millennial Tree Cookie. Is Millennial Tree like the boss of Wind Archer? I am Wind Archer Cookie. All right, here we go. Wow, I've never been this deep into the maze grove. Is this giant tree the divine tree that Sea Fairy Cookie was talking about? Keep walking around the tree and you will meet Millennial Tree Cookie. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gone. Did I do something wrong? Wind Archer Cookie didn't look too pleased with me. Oh, now is not the time for this. The child of the desert forest means well. Oh, here we go. He is quite protective of the light and the lives it touches. Millennial tree cookie? There, millennial tree. I have been waiting for you. Oh. Me? But how? In the lore, the millennial tree is like the strongest cookie, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. My roots spread far and wide. They told me of a certain cookie with truthful eyes and powers of ice seeking me. Oh, yes. Definitely oh, has that, that, that voice of, right? Like the, um, whatchamacallit, that power, right? Indeed. That is known to me as well. Someone is interrupting the cycle of life. Those poor souls that only wish to return to nature. And if it is affecting my forest, then it is no small threat. You can feel it too? Sea Fairy Cookie said that this unusual flow of life energy is heading northeast of Earth Bread. That is true. It is heading towards the land of Beast Yeast, the realm of darkness. Oh, realm of darkness. <gasps> beast Yeast? What is Beast Yeast? There are those who have been spreading shadow and malice. They have chosen Beast Yeast to gather their forces. They are gathering life that rejected its fate to create a creature forbidden. Defying the laws of nature. And if this accursed design were to succeed, the balance and order of what we know will perish. Oh, we can't let that happen. The wind seems to be changing its course. I need to get back to Frost Queen Cookie first. I need to tell her all of this right away. Thank you so much for your help, Millennial Tree Cookie. I wish I could stay longer, but it's a pretty long way back. So I'm gonna leave right now. Goodbye. He's like, he doesn't want to go, but he has to go. <laughs> I see that you were listening, Wind Archer Cookie. How could there be someone who dares to interfere with the cycle of life? Are you going to Beast Yeast? My mission is to trace and vanquish the darkness. I shall catch the northeast wind and leave right away. Be careful. Do not get hurt. Oh, here we go. Now let's unlock the last one. All right, guys. Refresh happened. Exactly enough for the last one. Here you go, guys. The last episode of the winter story. Here we go. Wow. I really am far out, aren't I? I really need to get back to Frost Queen Cookie and tell her everything I found out. Wind, help me. Stealing life energy to create a forbidden being. Yeah, there better be Cotton. Why would anyone do that? And who would do that? Dark Enchantress. 
And if this really destroys the cycle of life, what happens to the cookie world? I'm gonna go see the warm lantern lights before I head to the frost castle. Ah, oh, there it is. Cotton. I need to see Cotton Cookie. That's it! That's it! You don't even show Cotton! No, that's it! That's all the story? Do we need to wait another year? <laughs> Don't tell me we need to wait another year for this. Is it is it in the uh, baking? Is this the story? Is it is it here? Oh my god. But still. Wow. Okay, but at least we finally got to see all of the uh, elemental legendaries, right? Except Moonlight. Moonlight never showed her face. Not even the voice. Uh, he couldn't even get near the castle. All right. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just have to see how how it turns out. But there you guys go. The end of the winter story for 2022 for Kaguren Kingdom. <laughs>